Hello and welcome to this edition of Diecast Emporium. Today we're going to be taking a look at yet another Diecast Masters model. In this case, it is the Diecast Masters Highline Series Caterpillar 963K track loader. A little bit of history about track loaders, particularly cat track loader models. So if you go all the way back to the NZG days, they had some 953s that came out. Uh, Norscott did the 963D, which is the predecessor to this model. This is obviously the K uh, variation. And then uh, Diecast Masters obviously did the Evolution series of the track loader. That has been reviewed on this channel, so go check out that video if you haven't yet. And now we have the 963K track loader. So with that out of the way, now you know a little bit of the history. Let's go ahead and get into this model. As we always do, we'll take a look at the tin first. It's got a picture of the model on the side along with the item number 85572. On the top, you have a picture of the real machine, hard at work. Nice glossy picture there. On the back... Again, another picture of the track loader. And if you wish, you can read some specification details about the real machine. If you are new and if you've never owned a Diecast Masters Highline Series model, they come in these nice tins which open up just like that. Included is a catalog which has all of the current lineup of the Diecast Masters Cat Series. And inside you have some foam rubber with some holes. And then underneath that, you have the model. So there is the track loader. So I'm taping this video in January 2020. This model has actually been out for a couple years now. Um, this came out, I believe, in 2018, if I'm not mistaken. And during that time period... Diecast Masters Highline Series models still had our friendly operator, who we in the community have commonly um, referred to as Bob. Um, he is permanently fixed in the cab of this particular track loader. However, if that is not something that you like in your particular models, if you are in the market to purchase one of these, you can see some screws underneath here. And very carefully, if you wish to take apart your model and remove Bob from the cab, that is an option to you. I always, as a disclaimer, personally don't recommend doing that, but that is an option available to you. Anyway, so during this time period, they had the operator in the cab, and that was a decision kind of together with Caterpillar because they wanted to give an idea of a full-grown man inside the cat equipment, so you get an idea, a better visual, visual representation as to how big these equipment really are. So on the back of this track loader... You have a three-shank ripper, which does function. It does go down. So you can pose it in the lowered position if you want. You can also raise it. And the cylinders are strong enough to hold it in the out-of-service position. But the main function of a track loader, of course, is its front bucket. This will raise to a decent height. Here we have a Diecast Masters dump truck here. And as you can see... If both models are on the are on even ground, the cylinders are not high enough to get over the side. But often track loaders will be working on raised ground or benches or shelves as they're commonly referred to. So if you have your diorama or setup like that, this won't be an issue. And also the bucket has a good enough engineering mechanism that it tilts high enough to dump everything out of the bucket. So the dump angle is very, very good. As for some of the smaller details, such as the carry angle, that is also very good. You're cutting teeth. There are eight on this particular bucket. Your tracks are metal, and they will roll freely on any surface with tension as long as you push down, forward or backwards. You saw a brief shot underneath earlier as I was describing the screws, but here you can see the track pad detail on each of the different track shoes. And also the bucket detail underneath. So there you go, guys. That is a very quick synopsis and review of the Diecast Masters Caterpillar 963K track loader in 1 to 50 scale. There are not that many track loaders available currently in 150th scale. I went over a brief history of most of them that are out there. 
So if you want a model that's different, there's tons of loaders out there, there's tons of excavators out there, there's tons of dump trucks out there, but if you want just that something different in your collection, this is a good option for you to have. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below in the comment section. And until next time, take care, be safe, and we will see you in the next video review.